What's going on? Um, it's time to talk about another sci-fi action thriller. Today I'm going to be talking about the film Adrenaline Fear the Rush. Released by Dimension Films, November 29th, 1996. Starring Natasha Henstridge, who you might recognize from the Resident Evil franchise. And Christopher Lambert, who you probably would know him from like uh, Highlander 2. And, uh, yeah, so it's produced by Gary Schmoller and Tom Karanowski, and written and directed by Albert Pian. He's done, he's worked on quite a few films, mainly in the sci-fi realm, especially on the home video market and stuff, but he's no, most known for Nemesis. Nemesis 2, uh, Nebula, ne Nemesis 3, uh, Prey Harder, Nemesis 4, Death Angel, Nemesis Resurrection. He's been a part of all those. He's also done Cyborg and uh, The Sword and the Sorcerer and Kickboxer 2 and 4. I'm not sure if he's done any more of those, but yeah. Anyways, um, so yeah. But Adrenaline, Fear the Rush. So this takes place in the so distant future of 2007. Yeah, it's uh, it was released in 1996 though, so yeah. But uh, it takes place in 2007, and a virus breaks out in um, a small community or a city, anyways. And uh, yeah, instead of like trying to put money towards like government research, sort of like what they're doing with the coronavirus these days, um, yeah, they decided just to build a wall around the uh, city and call it a day. So yeah. They do that, and uh, while well, the virus it opens up with like a Natasha Henstridge giving like a rundown of the virus and how it originated and stuff like that, but that's not important. Um, yeah, so um, the film uh, you follow two cops one senior veteran cop and a rookie cop, and those are two big cast, anyways. And uh, yeah, so they go and they try to hunt down a killer that's infected with this virus, and it's um yeah and they go and they eventually catch up to him he's more like a mutant and it's sort of like the hills have eyes and well if i go about police shooting at mutants for half the film and uh yeah it's actually pretty fun it's a very loose plot like that's all it is what i just said you're legit watching an hour and 20 minutes of cops hunting down a killer and shooting it it has sort of like an alien sort of vibe aliens vibe to it uh has like the police like you have your uh highly trained professionals going into these dark crypt looking place and trying to find the mutant and stuff and it has takes a lot of elements from like alien and aliens and puts it in a natural city setting it's very fun like that it's a pretty good turn off your brain popcorn flick um, it's not, it doesn't require you to think about a story or anything like that. It just goes, gives you some good action sequences and some fun, um, fun chase scenes and everything like that. And a lot of stupid decisions, which is typical of sci-fi and horror. And, uh, yeah, and it goes to your normal beats to those type of films. Uh, there's, the acting's not too bad in it. It's, uh pretty good for what it was and uh yeah special effects makeup's okay it's not the greatest uh, but it sure beats cgi that's for sure anyways um yeah and uh yeah the biggest flaw is the story is so basic and paper thin the plot is so paper thin and the characters are pretty underdeveloped so that kind of don't go in here thinking you're going to get a good lot of characters you can relate to or anything. Most of it's just like, here's your cops. There's your bad guy. Follow them. That's basically the whole film. So, yeah. If you like a good action film of just a, of a good uh, chase scenes and don't want to pay attention too much. Uh, yeah. This is the film for you. So, um, but if you're looking for something with a little more in-depth characters and stuff, it's not going to be uh, like that. So, yeah. But overall, I thought Fear the, uh, Adrenaline Fear the Rush was a pretty decent film and definitely worth 
checking out, especially like action movies and sci-fi films. And it's pretty good. It's pretty funny watching a film where uh, you can't even take a piss in public or else people ridicule you and everything like that. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cheesy and fun. So definitely check it out. I'm not sure why they called it Adrenaline Fear the Rush. It's kind of a random title and doesn't really have to associate with anything. But for what it is, it's a fun time. So with that, I'm going to give this film a 3 out of 5. It's fun, enjoyable. Just don't go in there thinking you get some really good heart-moving characters or any characters you get emotionally attached to and to follow. So, yeah. Uh, there's a trailer link down below if it sounds like something you might be interested in. It's always linked down there. Also, make sure you check out my Instagram where I always post clips of films I'm going to view in the future on my story. And I usually have the film title and the hashtag and subgenre film the hashtag in the video clip so you're aware of it and also link down below is my letterbox account where i post my first star rating right after watching the film so yeah follow me on those two to stay in uh platforms to stay in the loop of what's coming up down the pipeline uh make sure you like this video share it so more people are aware of it comment your opinions of the film down below if you've seen it let me know what you thought of it and uh let me know if there's any films whether it's sci-fi or whatever, I'll watch any genre. If there's any films that you want to hear my opinions on in the future, comment those down below. I'll try my best to get to them as soon as I can, and if I can find them. And make sure you subscribe, because I still got at least one more sci-fi film to talk about, and then a lot of random weird stuff to talk about after that. So make sure you subscribe, and hopefully we can find something interesting, weird, something you probably never thought of checking out together. So, yeah. Uh, but... For now, watch out for all those mutated people from all this virus that's going around. And I guess I'll see you all in the next review. So, cheers.